examine this story further is PKD Nambiar, political analyst. Professor GVR Shastri, political analyst, is also joining us live. And Sriram Kari, a resident editor of Deccan Chronicle, is also with us on the broadcast. PKD Nambiar, let me uh, begin with you first. Uh, you know, Rajni Kant has not even officially announced his party just yet, but already a lot of political reactions coming in. From AIDMK to DMK, how do you view these reactions and what are they fearing? Of course, it's uh, needless to say there is a huge amount of fear and uh, this, this fear was uh, somewhere or the other way, it was not, uh, they were all expecting that Rajni Gan might not get into the politics, active politics, as it has taken a lot of time. Uh, the people have been waiting from the last five years or so that uh, today or tomorrow Rajini Gan may come, may not come. This has been, this, the speculation was on the right from the last so many years. But finally, when he has announced, of course, the, the kind of clout uh, Rajini Gan as an individual, the superstardom he enjoys in the entire Tamil Nadu and broadly across India, and especially in the south of India, and even further to the specific Tamil Nadu, is definitely unparalleled to any other star in the past or even the present. So, of course, uh, everybody is uh, worried. Uh, Rajini Gant definitely do have a very, very sol solid, not only just the fans and the fan clubs and organized uh, all across the state, that will definitely give him an advantage. But then, uh, having said that, will he, is he ready to take on to the peak? To the uh, to the DMK or AADMK, which has been established two political parties, which has been there from the, and which has ruled the state for several decades, I think that is worth the question. Uh, another thing is that it is too late, I believe, with, with the, the entry of Rajinika, whether will he emerge as a, uh, as an icon and a, a chief minister, or will he be just a spoil sport? Is what everyone is talking about or discussing about. Uh, secondly, I think you, we were also talking about the, the, the discussion was, uh, was told that it will be on the corruption of uh, Tamil Nadu. So if you really look at that from the point of view, he is also proving, Rajini Gandhi is also proving, he is also going to be like in any other politician. The yes. reason being, he is also taking people from every party, the people from the Congress, BJP, AIDMK, DMK, the people who are already having the, the corruption charges are all just getting into it. So how is he going to... No, no, different? but it's quite interesting. DMK first started out by saying we will only comment on him once he announces his ideology. But already they've started commenting on him. So, but that, that is very clear. He said that they, his politics is going to be a spiritual mm. uh, politics. So, so that is slightly more close to the right-wing uh, uh, right uh, ideology that is close to maybe uh, to a BJP ideology. That is definitely something which is worrisome for the DMK. So DMK uh, and Karunanidhi and the DMK as a party as in Ethis, uh, the party of Ethis, the, they don't believe in the God and they have actually contributed uh, in a great extent of dividing Hindus or, 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 or making the Hindus as more of like a second class citizen in Tamil Nadu over the last so many years. And uh, they, they have been insulting in the Hindu God and uh, Hindu customs and goddesses and promoting other the Christianity and the Islamism in a great way. And these are all something which is everybody knows, both uh, the entire South, uh, in a great way. And all these pa parties, whether it is, uh, the, uh, it, there is a say in Tamil Nadu or in South of India, the, the corruption in Tamil Nadu has started in the 1960s by the, uh, the, the Congress government, but it is followed, the, the, the father of the corruption in Tamil Nadu politics is considered as uh, Karunanidhi. Everybody knows that the great, uh, when the Sarkaria Commission was uh, appointed, uh, when uh, the Sakarya Commission asked uh, Karunanidhi that time that uh, where is this 30,000 bags of uh, sugar has gone? That's a very infamous or a, uh, a quote by, uh, uh, it has all, uh, Karunanidhi said that it has all eaten by the uh, ants. So the corruption, in an organized corruption has started from them and in the second term of uh, MGR, he also, uh, in a way, uh, made it slightly more a systematic corruption in the form of Tasmak, a company he himself has formed. So every political party, both DMK and AADMK, have been a part of corruption. If people are going from these parties to Rajini Khan, what is that he is going to give different... Uh, in in the, uh, the political arena of Tamil Nadu is a big question. Uh, Uday, I, I believe that uh, we were all expecting, we, I mean, maybe the people of Tamil Nadu have been expecting that something different from uh, Rajini Khan, but so far, 
to my knowledge, there is nothing specific or uh, there is nothing different which is uh, uh, which is happening. So that is a sad story. In fact, this is the same thing which has happened with Kamal Hassan. We were all expecting, or rather, you and me would have been expecting that yes, Kamal Hassan is coming, that uh, he would be bringing some kind of a different political ideology and thought process and a working and an and, uh, different set of an agenda to the world. But he proved like a, uh, to be a very very an utter failure. I hope that is not going to happen with Rajnika. No, no, but but uh, Kamal Hassan's, uh, or, you know, Kamal Hassan also. Perhaps you cannot write him off just yet. We have to wait and watch what his impact will be in the assembly polls. Uh, that will be the real test, Mr. Nambiar. But Jivya Shastri, come in here. Jivya Shastri, there is a lot of curiosity on Rajnikanth's politics. Uh, to, to quite an extent, I agree with uh, Jivya Shastri. The, the reason being is that uh, Rajnikanth's entry, if it could have been about two, three years back, he was created a complete... Uh, uh, atmosphere of his political entry. He spelled out all his vision for Tamil Nadu. How is he going to make Tamil Nadu a develop? Uh, I mean, a further how uh, Tamil, Tamil Nadu is broadly considered as an already a developed or a progressive state. But how is he going to take the Tamil Nadu to the next level? How is he going to be different? Kind of different all these things should have been explained well in advance. If it is two years, three years back. The, we, we all could have been not discussing this today. We would have taken Dajinika slightly more seriously. But a 16-year-old man, without having any political backup in the past, suddenly one day he's... Oh, Nambiar, Nambiar, one minute. Nambiar, I'm not cutting you, but I'm just complimenting you. Yeah. What is it? It is, Nambiar, the most important critical part here is the establishment of party. Correct. It is not at that moment. Yes. He might have a fans and followers you are enthusiastic towards his leadership. That is the only criteria. Correct. But that is not the criteria required criteria for this. That is not the criteria required for this. Correct. There is something, a basic dynamics are basic dynamics are there for a political party to establish in the roots. But that is not there. No, no, that's all right. I, I believe, uh, uh, so the, bro the broader outlook uh, today, uh, the discussion should be that whether the Rajini can do have that kind of an experience to govern a, a government in 2020. Yeah, or will it only just uh, his screen presence and the superstardom can convert that into a good governance? I think that is something the time will only tell. And most of the time, as uh, you yourself was mentioning, that most of the people have failed in the, uh, the, the stars have failed rather than the success. So people from the sports and uh, the, 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 the film industry has been mostly failures and with very minimal success. So if you really take the example of an MGR or a Jailalita, please understand the MGR is basically split from the DMK and created a party called as AIA DMK. So they already have a background. A MGR uh, have not started a party in one day from a, from a superstardom. He already had a background of political activity. Same is in the case of Jailalita or even with the the factor, uh, factor of the matter with Karunanidhi. All these people already had a background. With regard to Rajini Gam, he do not possess any kind of a political background. Only thing what he did from the last couple of years, he created a hysteria saying that he might enter into the politics. If he enter into the politics, he may change the way the entire politics of Tamil Nadu will be, which is only at the time will tell. But as far as his body language is concerned, the kind of confidence he is trying to showcase is not at all visible, which is very, very unlike of uh, uh, the, the, the screen presence of the Rajini Gandhi is supposed to be very, very dashing. He will take on to the world. I must tell you that this time around in the Rajini Gandhi, we can't see that kind of a confidence. Maybe people have ill advised him to join the politics. Maybe I can only tell that if he come out to be a success, that's, and if he is going to deliver a good governance, and it's always good for the democracy and for the people of the people of Tamil Nadu. But I am quite doubtful about the winnability of Rajini Gandhi in today's day. Uh, no, uh, what about uh, what about an alliance? Jivya, Jivya, I'm coming to you. Uh, Nambiar, uh, Mr. Nambiar, what about an alliance? Do you believe? Do you rule yeah, out an alliance? Uh, do, do, no, do you do you rule out a pre-poll alliance? Post-poll alliance is possible. No, no. Pre-poll alliance. There are, both the things are possible. Both the things are possible. Uh, one is that, uh, the, as I was telling you, that the, he was always talking about the spiritual politics, which is a very different, as a story or as a narrative, which is very new for Indian Indian system. But it is considered as a right-wing 
uh, approach as a political uh, is the ideology he has taken. So this is a, uh, Rajini Kant can be a natural ally for BJP, or for BJP Rajini Kant is an ideal choice to become a part. So I uh, I can tell you that uh, on today in your channel that there is something which is quite possible for a, either a pre poll or a post poll both are quite possible the pre poll may not be that uh, might not really work in the in the same level because aidmk and bjp has almost uh, agreed to work together so that may not is going to happen but then the, in a post poll uh, rajini kant if he is go, if he is not a king if he is going to be a king maker he can be a, towards the bjp led politics so this is going to create more importance for the bjp than any other political party because bjp can play the role of a combining uh, or a or a natural force which can combine all the anti dmk forces in the state i think uh, stalin in, if this is going to happen rajinikanth's entry is going to uh, give a stop or a pause for stalin's dream to become a chief minister in the maybe in another for the next 5 years jeevya shastri see there are two issues uh, uday one i think pakkal is going to be there yeah i i believe uday there is yeah. one thing more uh, which we quite uh, often discuss about the success of few people so if you really look at in the, the people who have come from the silver screen maximum people have failed miserably uh, and they have all become just a uh, one uh, i mean it, it's just uh, for few years they stayed on and they faded away so there is so many examples another major thing which i feel uday is that uh, the times have changed in 2020 the people of the common man of today understand the difference between a super silver uh, i mean uh, a screen superstar and the true governance the experience of governing this is now it was it's not the case in the during the ntr or mgr time were in a superstar on the silver screen people were not about uh, right. aware about, about the technology or anything but today everybody understands what we are seeing in the screen is not real okay. and what you are the, the reality is okay the experience and how you we've run out of time state, we've run out of time take, take the progress so we have to wait and watch how this pans out in 2021 you cannot write off anyone right now but uh, very interesting developments playing out we'll be keeping a close watch on this for now my thanks to our panelists for joining us